Hey guys, Mana701 here, and I have another Battlefield 4 related video for you guys. Now I know I said I probably wasn't going to do another one. Uh, I was probably only going to do the Battlefield 4 counter knife video. But watching all this Battlefield 4 footage gave me a nostalgic kick. It reminds me a lot of a previous game in the Battlefield series. And, uh,. Going along those lines, I wanted to make a video talking about Battlefield 4 uh, Commander Mode. Um, and I know there's already been 50,000 different Battlefield 4 Commander Mode videos out on YouTube. But, but I'm going to give this video a unique spin on the Battlefield 4 Commander Mode, which I think it'll make, it'll make it stand out to you guys. And... Uh, in doing so, that requires us to take a trip back through memory lane. So, without further ado, here we go. This is Battlefield 2, and I am in the U.S. base in on uh, Strike at Karkin, a, ver a map you're all familiar with. Only the you're familiar with the BF3 version, and. Uh, I'm going to show you how Commander Mode works in Battlefield 2, and then I'm going to compare it to Battlefield 4's new Commander Mode. So in order to apply to be Commander, you hit Caps Lock, it brings up the Kit and Squad menu here, and the Team menu, those are all the kits. And here are all the squads where you can join and leave squads, and create squads. And here's the Commander decision. You hit Apply, and it says, and you apply to be commander. And normally in a online multiplayer game, the person who was highest ranking, I believe, got to be commander. This is not an online multiplayer game. This is actually a single player game with bots. Yes, Battlefield 2 had bots. So I'm automatically get to be commander and I push age up to accept. Now in Battlefield 4, I'm probably going to be speculating a lot here in this video because we're not sure of all the details yet. Obviously, um, you don't. It's it's different for Battlefield 2 in in that uh, command. You're not in the game as a playable uh, as a playable soldier in Battlefield 4 if you're commander. Whereas in Battlefield 2, you are a playable soldier, and you have to sit somewhere on the map where you'll be relatively safe to do your commander duties. In Battlefield 4, this is not the case. You don't count as one of the players in the game. Uh, you're a separate commander, and you're away from the battle, and, and you're only doing your commander abilities. As far as how you apply to be commander, that remains to be seen exactly. Um, I assume it's going to be similar to Battlefield 2 in that a bunch of people can apply and whoever's the highest ranking individual will get to be a commander. Uh, in Battlefield 2, you could, uh, in the middle of the game, if your commander was doing a bad job, you could vote to get him kicked out and be replaced with a new commander. I wouldn't be surprised if this returned in Battlefield 4. Because uh, in Battlefield 2, there was a lot of awful commanders. And it'd be kind of dumb for them to bring commander mode back in Battlefield 4 and not give you the ability to vote out bad commanders. Because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of bad commanders and troll commanders in Battlefield 4. All the commander assets are on the ground and are able to be blown up with C4 by the enemy team. This is the scan trailer right here. The scan trailer. Here, I'll show you what each thing does. I hit caps lock again, the commander screen comes up. Gives you an overview of the battlefield. And I'll show you what each of the commander assets are. Scan! Does a complete scan of the entire battlefield. They're all the enemy players, but they don't show up on the map to my team unless I spot them all like that. And then they disappear and it recharges really fast. Now here is Battlefield 4's commander screen. Um, as you can see, proximity scan is back uh, on the upper left where all the commander assets are listed. I wouldn't be surprised if it was extremely similar, if not the same, to 
after what you just saw in Battlefield 2. So that'll give you an idea of what proximity scan is probably like. UAV is similar, except I stick it anywhere I want on the map. And it deploys a drone. And it'll show all the enemies within its radius for a period of time. I forget the exact time, maybe it's 30 seconds. Back to the Battlefield 4 Commander screen. You see there are two UAVs in uh, this version. One is the Scan UAV, which is probably exactly like the UAV you just saw in Battlefield 2. And here is the Scan UAV in action and on uh, DICE's Battlefield 4 Commander mode trailer. So you see the Scan UAV performs the same purpose in both Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 2. Uh, as far as the EMP UAV goes, that's apparently going to be used to disrupt the enemy's, the enemy commander's UAV from gathering information about your army. Supplies. Now supply box, you can drop anywhere on the map. In this case, I can drop, I'll drop it right here where I am. And there it is. If you stand next to it, you get ammo, and you get health, which I'll show you. Let's see if I can damage myself a little bit without killing myself. There, see? I'm getting health as well. It's pretty slow. Also, if you drive vehicles next to this, it'll auto-repair vehicles. So you get ammo, health, and repairs from this. Now if you look at the Battlefield 4 screen, you don't obviously, obviously see an option to drop supply drops, but I think they're still in the game. Uh, I think in this case, if you look at the yellow progress bar on the left side, you see that you probably have to earn the supply drops depending on how well your team does and if they hold certain flag points on the map. There are four different things on the progress bar. I'm not sure what each of them are, but the second one looks like the supply drop. And I'm assuming it'll perform the same way as you just saw in Battlefield 2. There's also the vehicle drops. And it drops a Humvee anywhere on the map. On a lot of maps it drops buggies instead. It does not drop heavy vehicles like tanks and uh, LAVs. Again, and on the Battlefield 4 Commander screen, uh, vehicle drops are not obviously shown like the supply drops. It looks like you have to earn them in the same exact way according to the yellow progress bar. It's the very last thing on the progress bar, it seems. Uh, I don't remember seeing any ve vehicle drops happen during the Battlefield 4 live stream footage. I assume that you can possibly drop LAVs and tanks unlike in Battlefield 2. Because it seems like they experimented with that in uh, Battlefield 3 Endgame with the LAV drops that they did from the C-130s. So I bet you the way supply drops and vehicle drops will work in Battlefield 4 is a large plane, as the AC-130, will fly over the field and drop uh, transport vehicles and or heavy vehicles such as LAVs and tanks. These are all the squads right here, and it shows you what the squad each squad is doing. This, for example, squad one is going to do. I believe that's defend. Yes, that's defend the hotel. Squad two, squad three. Defend. Now I can tell each of my squads what to do. I right click on each of the squads, and a bunch of commands come up. Like command squad or rebuke squad. Pretty funny. And I also can tell them all the stuff that's available. And I can, of course, I can give them orders. I right click on the map and everything comes up. That I can use. Attack I can tell squad one to attack. I can tell squad two attack to attack. I can still tell squad three move to move. Like that. that. 
on the battlefield for commander mode screen. You can see right in the center of the screen, uh, the commander's clicking on Alpha Squad, similar how you saw to how you saw in Battlefield 2. And you can see uh, there's a bunch of icons that give him uh, an, a bunch of options of what orders they, he can give to him. You see a little uh, thumbs up, which could be similar to Command Squad, and you see uh, a bunch of other options as well to where to move, where to attack and uh, defend and so on and so forth and uh, I'm hearing that you get bonus points if the squad leaders follow the orders and the commander gets uh, benefits as well. Now I'm going to show you how the artillery works in Battlefield 2. Uh, as you can see there's one of them right there and the other one is on the other side of the map over there. If I bring the map up you can see them both on the screen right there. I'm going to go over back to the first one and show you how it works. Show you how it works. Pick it. You know what, let's do this first, actually. Let me drop it right there. Fires. If I can see it, get over there so I can see it. That, there it is, right there. I got one kill, two kills, three kills. Now, Battlefield 4, it doesn't appear from what I've seen that artillery is back per se. Instead, we get a couple of different options, including the Tomahawk missile and the gunship. Uh, and you've seen the trailers. It shows a girl sitting at a tablet selecting where to fire her Tomahawk missile and the Tomahawk missile shoots from a ship offshore and hits in kind of the same fashion as how the artillery works in Battlefield 2. And they've also shown uh, that there will be a gunship as well that can shoot targets as well. Well, I think that's all I'm going to talk about in uh, this video about uh, Commander Mode. I hope I gave you some unique insight into how it will probably work in Battlefield 4 by comparing it to how it originally was in Battlefield 2. And if, by the way, you've never played Battlefield 2, I highly, highly recommend that you go try it out. It's probably really cheap on Steam by now or, or on Origin. And as it stands right now, Battlefield 2 is still my all-time most favorite Battlefield game that I enjoyed playing. And from watching all the Battlefield 4 footage that has come out in the past week, it looks like that Battlefield 4 is gonna be a lot more similar to Battlefield 2 than Battlefield 3 ever was, and I'm really excited about that. And I cannot wait until October when Battlefield 4 comes out. Until then, I'm gonna finish off the video with uh, a little bit more gameplay from BF2 and uh, footage from the BF4 trailers. So until then, this is Manus701. Remember to always watch your back. Later.